and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some chromatic black. That's right, we have a donation deck to play here that's bringing back... Hawkeye, are you coming up here? Hey, Hawkeye's here too. Bringing back an old favorite. This is a deck that's just mono black with a whole lot of swamps, and we have a couple of Cabal Strongholds uh, to be able to add a whole lot of mana, like, you know, for our swamps. But we use the power of Chromatic Lantern to actually turn our deck into, you know, basically a five-color deck where we can have uh, cards of each color also. As you see, main deck, we got some Hydro Crasis because this is one of the very best cards to cast whenever you have a lot of mana, which is our deck's trying to acquire a lot of mana through the help of Treasure Map and Chromatic Lantern and Golos. And Golos always searches up your Cabal Stronghold for you. So that's, that's a really convenient card to have here in our five color deck. And uh, yeah, when we have a lot of mana, we're gonna wanna Krasis. We also got some big Planeswalkers that can take over with Liliana and Ugin. And we have one other brand new card that I'm excited to play that I think could be really, really solid in this matchup. Not matchup, but in this deck, sorry. Um, is Dread Presence, uh, four mana, three, three. So every swamp we play, we get to do two damage to any target and gain two life, which is what we'll be doing most of the time. Or we could draw a card and lose a life. We need to draw a card. But that's just an awesome card. Uh, pretty underrated card, I think. I think this we haven't really seen this card get played a lot in standard yet. But I could see that kind of choosing because that's that's a really awesome ability. You don't really want to play have like your four mana, then play Dread Presence. You really want to have your land drop. You want to be able to play Dread Presence and then play your land and like deal two damage to something, gain two life. So you, you automatically get your value from the, the creature, and then they have to kill it, because if they don't kill it, you just get to keep on doing that every turn. Um, so uh, besides that, our sideboard, it looks it looks pretty normal. A bunch of black spells, but because we're playing Masterminds Acquisition, we got some sweet ones over here. Uh, got a couple of uncounterable threats here with Chandra against Control and uh, Nexus and stuff and niv mizzet against uh especially against the blue green flash deck that's getting pretty popular that our deck can kind of struggle with where they don't get to counter it and then if they try to play any counter spells then we get to start pinging their creatures uh so pretty nice card here and we got star of extinction for whenever we're behind or maybe like these nissa or risen reef decks if they like go crazy with a whole lot of permanents we get to blow them up and reset the board but that's what we got. All right, let's go ahead and, and get started here. No, I don't I don't have a Command the Dread Horde. Oh, I guess we didn't claim the prizes from before. From last league. Okay. The... So yeah, Reptile, the the new X Green Green Hydra, I think Voracious Hydra, I believe, is a very strong card. I like it quite a bit. Alright, thanks Storm. Yeah, we'll we'll see if this, this deck's better than than the five color reborn we played the other day. It's a, a chromatic deck. I, I think the five color reborn is a stronger deck myself. We just ran into the, those flash matchups over and over again that day. It was rough. Yeah, we've been playing against that deck some. So cast down now makes uh, light up the stage a lot worse, but we can just sit back and wait and wait till turn four. That's two turns of them doing stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wish we would have faced mono red with our mono white angels last round. So very glad they didn't have light up the stage. Uh, not very glad that they have Chandra Acolyte of Flame. No? That card's it, great. Buddies. Next time, you're toast. I could even just blast on away one drops. Kind of hiding the soot from them. Or sorry, hiding the blast zone from them. Ooh, love me some Golos. Yeah, this is two damage a turn, but it also yeah, it also lets you recast burn spells too. Very good card. Let's go grab another stronghold. We don't have any like special gain a whole lot of life card except for I guess Hydroid Crisis. Um I guess. Um undo. Hmm. That's a problem with Krasis, though. Krasis does not work with Golos. So that's unfortunate. These things just stay exiled now. That's a good one. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. Ross with the sub. Looks like a fun new toy. The biggest boss. Thank you so much there, Ross. Oh, I, I didn't even think about that, Morgan. Good call. So, yeah, I could have been adding more mana with Stronghold and then filtering mana with Guild Globe also. I didn't, I didn't even think about Guild Globe doing that. Ah. Three. So that's how it is. We're at eight. I already played my land because I'm dumb. Just wanted to add more mana. So can I can I just cast this like normally? Four, six, seven, eight. 
Or does it have to be zero? It has to be zero? That's lame. They were a lousy servant anyway. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. All right, so can they do six damage to us with one card? I don't think so. We'll see if they can, though. They just have main deck, Bane Fire. All right, Cast Down, Legion's End. Cry Contempt. Do we want Duresses against Mono Red? <laughs> I wasn't too nervous about the Vainfire. Wasn't too nervous. It is unfortunate how Golos and Krasis work together, though. Bring in two? Cool. What What are you cutting here? Are we... I mean, I guess, like, like Liliana... Yeah, Liliana's out. Karn? Seems like a reasonable card to take out. And what else? I do like this against Frenzy. Masker Girl, uh, just being a 4-4 four -four is kind of nice. 4-4 four -four is not the worst. All right, so we'll get rid of one of the Ugins, one Globe. And... I think an acquisition. Yeah, let's get rid of an acquisition. I don't know if I want to spend four mana just to draw a card. Even though that does mean crisis. We still got two. Don't need the third. They had Ley Lines and 3 mana Chandra, so they might have more high priority targets than normal for Duress. Well, let's see what they got. Shock. I thought about waiting a turn since we have nothing to do next turn, but we could draw into Treasure Map. Or... Okay, not. So it doesn't matter if we. Or, like, it's good we didn't wait a turn, though, because they would have been able to shock us. It should be Gil Globe. Oh, they're so cute. Boo. The more, the messy. Guess I need to get Ugin to destroy this Frenzy. Would I rather grab the Ugin from my deck or the one from outside the game? We just got to draw a land, and then next turn we get to play Golos, and then the, the following turn we'll have Ugin. We got to draw the land, though. Yay. Hmm. Right now, Cabal Stronghold's not adding any mana until we draw a Swamp. 
I want to get a swamp. So like if I get a swamp, then that's five, six, seven, and then another swamp would be eight, or like Ugin plus cast down. If I grab Cabal Stronghold and we draw a swamp, we would have uh, five, seven, two, seven, eight. We'd have eight either way, but then the but then it goes up more for following swamps. So if we, if we get a swamp either way, we'll have eight mana next turn. This way we don't have seven. We would have had seven mana next turn if we would have grabbed the swamp. It would have been automatic seven, but now it's just six. But then it's it'll pay off after two swamps. What? Oh, that Chain Whirler in hand is one that we already knew about from a long time ago. Hmm. If I would have grabbed the swamp, swamp, we would have had seven mana. Another strike on top. Gross. This is my plans do not include you. This last duress was the one card that we could have drawn that that punished us for not getting the swamp instead of the stronghold, and we only had one other duress <laughs> in our deck. So we only brought in two, so that was the the one singular card. Well, it turn, turns out they didn't have a spell in hand that that they needed to use anyway to kill us. Yep, I like the weekly rewards, definitely. Yeah, that was a, a good change. We're going to have to draw a Ritual of Sit. But I think we will. Could be a ritual set. It's looking like one. Uh, in the deck builder, you go click on the advanced filters button, and when you're in there, in the advanced filters part, there's something that there's there's a basic lands option next to like common uncommon rare and so on yep that was a ritual set
That worked out perfectly. We get to Krasis for four next turn. Gain two, draw two. Yeah, Ritual of Soot with a 4-4. Four, four. That's just the style that, that green-black has always just been referred to. Like, re green-black mid-range has always been referred to as the rock. The, that basically just means green-black mid-range. Dread Presence is sweet. It's just Chupacabra that gains two life. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think Soul Maka came up. I think Soul Maka came up with that turn, that term, uh, the rock. I don't know if like that specific standard era way back in the day maybe had a card or you know something to do with rockiness. Whoa, no. Uh I guess I have to actually target. Whoops. I mean we still have lethal. Not that big a deal, but meant to do the two damage. Got all right, so got to just click the right thing. I was like already like thinking that the two damage is like the only mode, and like ready to to click on the steamkin. I clicked the steamkin, and there was a different mode that popped up. It's good to like make the mistakes of first time playing a card in like a game that you still have lethal. Anyway, it's always good. Yep, green black is rock solid. Basically, you, you earn rewards with weekly weekly wins instead of daily wins. It's it's an upgrade. So getting rid of one of the Chromatic Lanterns is the easy card to get rid of. I think I want to get rid of a Krasis or an Ugin, though. You think Ugin? I don't know. Ugin's pretty good. I'm not sure which one's better, Ugin or Krasis. That's what, like, when since we don't know the matchup, you know, like different matchups, I would rather have Ugin. Different matchups, I'd rather have Krasis. I feel like the matchups that are going to be killing us, I want Ugin. The matchups that they're not really killing us. I would rather have Krasis, but that's probably good for us that we're facing a matchup that's not really killing us also. So we're already doing okay. Draw this land. 
perfect. Always had it. Yeah, reptile, but you can also if you if you mute the if you mute the person your opponent, then they don't see then you don't have the the can animation the cat animation on the other side, so if you're somebody with a bad PC that like the opponent activating their cat starts to lag you, then uh, just mute your opponent right away. And of course, you can just turn off emotes in the settings, so you just never have to deal with it. Also, uh, two damage, gain two life, and dread presence is great. The best card in our deck right here. Yeah, Dread Presence is awesome. Yeah, awesome art, too. Embrace the bloodlust. I don't think they had a, a style for it yet. Up into the fog. Yeah, you're soaring. I don't even know how our opponent's going to win. Let's have Dread Presence. Oh, I guess another Legion's Lieutenant is okay. That's like cheating. Speaking of cheating. Our opponent drawing five cards off Champion of Dusk. That's cheating. I mean, I guess I could draw a card. Or just do two damage to them. I guess we draw a card. That's a pretty good card. Until a curious choice. Man, Dread Presence isn't legendary either. How are we not playing four Dread Presence? We could play another one? Oh my gosh. We get two triggers for every swamp we play? Ooh. Need to cool off. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't know what to cut for it? You can cut anything. It's it's better than everything else that we have in the deck. Get rid of these Karns. I don't know, cards get you more swamps. Um Hmm. Alright. 
Sideboard, Cast Down, Legion's End, Cry of the Carnarium, Thrass's Contempt. Taking out Acquisition, Liliana, Ugin, Ugin. I'll cut, keep one Ugin over the Go Globe. Yeah, definitely Legion's Endgame. Got to take that Legion's Lieutenant. And have him see his legion's end. Hmm. Uh, we're on the draw, and we just need to draw one land. And then Guild Globe Treasure Map helps us get more. And then we have Soot. Nah. Oh no, should have got rid of Golos. Gross. Gross, Tireless Pilgrim. Had to draw another one. I am no, we're not playing any escape chips. To stand down now. Oh, I would have, yeah, I don't think, this, this is not a escape chip deck. I don't think you need to play escape chip to make Dread Presence good. Yeah, I'll be doing the metagame challenge this weekend. We'll probably do that tomorrow. I, bestow a I think curse. I think it'll be up by the time I stream tomorrow. I think. Gonna deal with the Soren. I always have to contend the knight. Blood calls to your soul. They must just have all removal over there. How do a mana wise? Hmm. Cannot quite do both. One mana short of doing both. Right? One, two, three, four. Yeah.
split. Your lifeblood is sweeter than wine. Respect in the dread presence. This is a tough one. So obviously I could get Chromatic Lantern to help with Golos, but Golos is most likely dying. But it does turn on like Hydro Crisis as being a really good draw. I could just go grab like Ugin, especially like the Ugin from the board to kill this Soren. No, I think it's Lantern. Yeah, that's a, that's true. It's it's pretty likely they have another Soren. If you know, like, it's a very good chance. You know, I don't I don't know if it's over fifty percent, but yeah, there's a very good chance that one of these cards in hand is another Soren. of my power so smart didn't let me undo that. Yeah, I wanted to undo. As you saw there, I was trying to hit Z. It didn't let me undo. Oh, right. I have to choose, I have to choose a number that it can't be. I have to choose, like, 20. And then it'll undo. I was thinking that, like, okay, well, I'll hit the 10, and I'll then I'll say undo. Crisis can't even kill the Soren. This whole hitting, hitting Krasis off Golas thing's getting old. So much damage. Will come for you one day. Hmm. 
Oh, right. So because of the Cry of the Carnarium, the other creature goes to exile, so it doesn't actually die. So the Massacre Girl trigger doesn't happen again. Keeping this swamp in hand, of course, because of Dread Presence. I bound to nothing beyond my own obligations. And I really want to flip the treasure map before I activate Blast Zone. My bloodline flows through. Beyond vision. All right, see a Gil Globe. We'll kill him eventually. May take a little while, but eventually we'll win this. All right, I guess it won't take very long at all. And 2-0 here for Chromatic Black. Follow Daniel. Thank you so much for that sub there. Getting the hype boats in the chat. All right, we are leveling up fast with these weekly wins. Looks like we got a new... <clears throat> new pack. Ooh, we got a cosmetic also. Awesome. All right, new pack. Let's get a mythic. 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 Come on, mythic. Boo. You can all see yourself out the door. All right, still 2-0. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. Is Argyle's Blood Fast good in this deck? I don't know if you really have creatures you want to sacrifice to try to gain your life back. Like it could be an okay sideboard card against control, but I don't know if it's one of the best things you can be doing. I don't know about blood fast. <laughs> I'll see you in hell. <laughs> yeah, we need we need the fourth dread presence in here. I'm not exactly sure where yet, but we gotta get that in here. I'm not sure the deck needs four crisis.
Maybe over the fourth crisis. Hitting these crisis off this, these Golos is rough. Ow. Hmm. Swamp. Swamp, 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 swamp. And the fact that these crisis are only... They're only castable if you have one of your four cards in your deck. Basically, I guess these things cast them. No, I guess those things cast them too. Prepare for battle. I think we're playing green white tokens right now. Consider getting dread presence. So four, five. So if we play this, we have three mana, not quite enough for ritual of set. Should have got Dread Presence. Nah, they would have. Nah, I don't know if Dread Presence would have done it. It's like Cast Down's my only two mana removal. So I could play Krasis for one and draw one card, but then N have two mana left. Yeah, we need to... I don't know what we could have drawn off of Krasis, but we need to draw something better. Oh, well. That'll kill us. Alright, Legion's End. Noxious Grasps. Cry, Contempt. Yeah, Nightpack Ambusher is definitely a deck that's good enough to make. It's definitely good enough to make a deck around. Uh, blue green, blue green flash plays it, and that's one that's a very popular deck right now. And that's a that plays four Nightpack Ambushers. Yeah, it's a it's a good card. What am I doing here? Hmm. What duresses in this matchup? They have so many spells. All right. Uh, what do you think about Selesnya in the actual metagame? I haven't seen a very successful Slesnia deck in a while. 
today. So I'm not that excited about it, I suppose. Or black cat. Any knowledge? I don't really understand your question. Are these decks for real? Like, what do you what do you mean? Are the dino dino decks for real? What? Okay, you just had okay. It was just a, a rant. Gideon Jura. At your service. Your light will cleave the darkness. I don't want to waste this on just a contempt, but I kind of feel like that's what I should get. Yeah, I gotta just get contempt. No, I could. I should have got Noxious Grasp, because then on my turn I go Lantern Grasp. Yeah, Ugin just light. lets them have the Gideon out for another turn. I should have gone Grasp. Ugh. They have Autumn Veil. Oh gosh, the Veil of Summer. Not again. I was like, oh, I should have done that on upkeep. I guess upkeep would have turned on God's willing, though. I am here to aid in the assault. I believe in you, friend. All right, where's Golos at? I am not quite indestructible. <laughs> You're welcome, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you so much. Golos. If I play Golos here, they just get to Conclave Tribunal it before I get to activate, which is not good for me. We will not fail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Hmm. I still I guess I'm still not going to act be able to activate this thing am I hmm forgive me 
All right, we'll just get it out there. Please don't tribunal it. Oh, you just did a tier two sub, Kitty? Refresh, refresh your stream. The notification didn't come up. Oh wait, it did come up. Or at least I don't remember it coming up on the screen. But here I can, I can put it back up on here. There you go. Thank you so much, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you very much. Let's get some hype in the chat. Risky biscuits, getting it there. Thanks, Risky. All right, so now the uh, now the question is just play Krasis or start activating Golos. Smart. So I missed that, yeah, so Gorbard, uh Good Brothers right. No, we do not we do not want Dex referred to in that manner. Please do not anymore. against creatures with all these sweepers. All right, Nissa down. Bad news is Return to Nature does destroy my sweet Golos here. It's unfortunate. 
but they they don't really have anything going on now that we get rid of Nissa. Even though I don't really have anything going on either. Yeah, I agree. I do need more hair. Wish I had more hair. <laughs> All right. See, we draw dread presents. Our best draw step. Four, five, six. Border Lynn Ranger. Getting that hype in here. Thank you so much for that resub there, Border Lynn Ranger. So four, five, six, seven. So I play this, and then we have five mana. So wait. I should wait a turn. Some number six on the day. No, I, I purposely didn't play the land last turn. Oh wait, we have we have this thing. That thing adds a lot of mana. I didn't play it because of dread presence. We get to draw three, not just two. More unbreakable formations. Formation will not be broken. Good thing we got a bunch of Cryothecranariums and Legion's Ends and Exile stuff. All right, 3-0. Hey, Tony, it's going good today. We got some tower defense. Yeah, this deck's pretty sweet. You know, we keep playing against these aggro decks. Yeah, I don't know why my opponent didn't tap down the Krasis there with their creature. I mean, if they did, then they would not have been able to keep up Unbreakable Formation, so maybe they just really wanted to keep Unbreakable Formation available. We got our lily sleeves, our lily avatar, our lily cat.
Vampires, more aggro. Knowledge, did you put a, a whole bunch of Veil of Summers in your deck? Y'all are lucky I drew that land. a lot of cards. I didn't want the upkeep stop because I wanted just to be able to play Masker Girl if I would have drawn it. Would have drawn the land. I didn't really want to be. I didn't want to have to activate that other thing first. But oh well, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So next turn I play Chromatic Lantern and Golos. Use this other treasure. I guess we could go Lantern and Ritual of Set if they play a whole bunch of things, but they, they got so much stuff in hand, I probably should wait a turn on Ritual of Set. Still. Gross. Uh, and Soren gets to give him life link. Yeah, if I go soot, attack, kill Soren, I'm taking at least four on the way back. And they have all this other stuff, and then I don't have a set anymore.
these champion of dusks have been really awesome like I was just a little slow. So I should I guess I the turn I contempted the three four I could have just let them attack, activate treasure map, and then treasure map again the next turn, and Not I would have been able to con I would have been able to I could have masked a girl the turn before they played. Could have girl the turn they, before they played Champion of Dusk if I just don't contempt and just take that extra three. That was the that was the mistake I made this game. I will have revenge for House Markov. I abhor my need. Could use a swamp. Um, so yeah, this doesn't actually add any mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is not very much mana. I'm not sure if they're going to have removal. If they have removal, it's really, really tough for me. No removal. I need a goalless.
We would have hit. We would have had some good ones. I mean, would have if I activated Golos, we would have hit Ugin. So we're gonna acquisition for. We gotta just get rid of this Adanto Vanguard somehow. The weak I could acquisition strong. for Star of Extinction. I mean, I probably have to get something that gets rid of the Vanguard, though. I guess that's like Legion's End, I suppose. You know, Crowd of the Carnarium is obviously another option. I should, I should switch the Masker Girl and Krasis. I should just let them kill Masker Girl if they activate twice. Or I guess they only have to activate once to kill Masker Girl. But still just Masker Girl dying and Champion still dying. Okay, so no, they didn't, didn't take the bait. The reason why I said twice was to keep it keep uh, the keep their one drop alive. That's what I was thinking. But no, the the one drop would have stayed alive. Uh, yeah, and I didn't mean like activate once as in yeah, the once definitely killed the the masker girl. But I meant like activate twice to not trade. But yeah, so sorry I said that wrong. That's what I was thinking in my head. This would be 12 mana. Let's do that, that. I can undo Stronghold, right? If I... No, well, I already know it's going to be 6. So let's see. So it's 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's not enough. I'm going to have to play my land first. That's still not enough for what I want to do. So that's 7, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, that's not enough either. So we're either going to play, we can either play Ugin or we can activate Golos. Go Golos. Wow, that was a terrible Golos. That was terrible.
Uh, that's just we're just dead. I'm just dead. Other line, so like the other line considering was we could have masterminds for legions and legions end away the vanguard. Um, so obviously we got to kill the sanctum seeker because those triggers kill us, and then play Ugin and have Ugin kill sanctum seeker, and then that would allow me to have Krasis attack and kill Soren. Um, but then we would, or I guess I could have. Because, yeah, the champion was tapped, so I could have had Golas attack Soren, and then I would have had the Krasis to be able to block the champion. Um, which would have definitely put us in a better spot than that activation. You know, they would... The Soren would be dead. Ow, and not hitting us. What a mess I I have mm. not survived millennia to stand down now. Thank you for your service. And... <clears throat> yeah, it would have been in a better spot, but oh well. So I should have I should not have even cast the acquisition then at that point. Obviously, I should have just just played the Ugin and killed the Seeker. All right, millions of champion of dusks. That's rough. So yeah, if I just didn't cast the, I mean, we, we would have died still, but if I didn't cast the acquisition that last turn after, after the Golos, if I play Ugin, we could have also played Lantern and Map and Scryed. Just saying other things that we could have done. I don't think this Liliana is that great of a card in this deck. I think, that, I think maybe that's where we get the fourth Dread Presence, is just taking out Liliana. Because even against Control, like, Dread Presence is awesome. Liliana's great against Feather. Like, that's where you want Liliana's against Feather. Okay, yeah, I could see Liliana staying in this matchup. What are, what are we cutting, then? Yeah, Karns are two cards. We gotta cut two others. Alright, looks good. Let's give this a try. We're going to need to draw a land just to play, but it's a good start. Okay. 
Yeah, we could cut a mastermind also. Yeah. I would not be too upset about cutting a mastermind. Depart Innistrad immediately. You stop having these champion dusks. Come on. Probably should have cut treasure maps in this matchup. That card seems too slow. I mean, I only have one play here. Gotta get rid of, gotta get rid of that thing. It already did its damage, though. Can't really let it sit around and put a bunch of counters on these things, though. Alright, next time cut treasure maps. Yeah, that was a good hand. One drop, two drop, Soren put in champion of dusk. And then double lord on turn four. I don't I don't know if it gets better. Like if the two drop was a Danto Vanguard, not I think if they had a better two, like they could have had a better one drop and a better two drop. But. So we're, yeah, so we beat vampires earlier, so we were one and one there. Uh, yeah, I think I think treasure maps need to go against vampires. That's what it fe that's what it feels like. Um, I don't think there is a, a tier. I don't think there are tiers right now. Ten days into the format. Vampires are definitely good. I'm, I'm going to call them tier one because I wouldn't really call anything tier one right now. Tiers are whenever you have an established metagame. One and two, thinking of decks and tiers is also just not really that good. And by good, I mean useful. Magic decks aren't like. It's not like decks are a hierarchy. Like, tier one decks always beat tier two decks, and tier two decks beat tier three decks. That's not how magic works. Really wish I could wait a turn and play Golos first before Ritual of Sitting, but Risen Reef is just so strong. But like, that's not even a good Ritual of Sit. So I think we're going to Mastermind's Acquisition. We need another stomp in here anyway. I think we'll go find Dread Presence with Mastermind's Acquisition. And we can like play Swamp. Kill a Risen Reef.
So we do have the 8 mana, but we didn't draw the swamp. So do we want to activate Golos or cast Krasis for 6? Either way, we should be able to hit land drops. With this thing. That was good. That was good. We did not hit land drop, but that's all right. Recklessness and fear are the seeds of disaster. We probably have pretty something pretty sweet to grab. Uh, I guess maybe not. This would kill a Nissa, but we also have the Ugin that kills Nissa. Should have nibbed it up. I'll just say no attack. <clears throat> I don't really want... Like, you know, like, we if they have a Nissa, Like, if I attack, they have Nissa, then I have to chump block with my 2-2. I don't know if I really want to chump block with the 2-2. It does give me a Contempt, but... Hey, what's up, Sothian? Yeah, they would have shocked that, and then they would have hit Ugin for three. I don't want them to hit Ugin for three. It's certainly possible they'll just play something else. Secrets manifest before you. <laughs> that was good. All right, now we're going to have a whole lot of mana next turn. I think we have this in the bag. We're just accruing more and more value.
Taking our time. Yeah, I could see having one thought distortion in the sideboard. I could see that. Or like if, if you get to ramp out early and they have a whole bunch of cards in hand, just get rid of all of them. Alright, we gotta play our own cards. From hand. in person you're about oh looks like someone's getting a little sweaty the fabric of the multiverse obeys me There we go. Took me a little bit, but that's what this deck does. Takes a little bit. So this is definitely a Star of Extinction kind of deck. King J! Alright, cool. Adding a Johnny and Bloodthirsty Arrow list. Awesome. Alright, King J, what, what day and what, what time slot do you want? There. I'll get you written down here. Obviously today I'm I'm filled up. I'm gonna play Star over Lily. Noxious Grass, or yeah, Noxious Grass better than Cast Down. Yep, upload all the videos to YouTube. You should check them out there. Uh, I have not seen a, the Cavalcade of Calamity Elemental deck. No, I have not. I just don't play treasure map. What if this deck just takes out treasure map? Is that possible? You know, get another guild globe in here. Treasure map seems really, really slow these days. Nice, yeah, no, I hadn't hadn't uh, seen that. Hey, welcome to Vito. Welcome everybody from to Vito's stream here. Everybody Raiden. Welcome, y'all. Alright, we're gonna need land. We'll keep this on the draw. All right, King J. So I think my plan for, is tomorrow to do the metagame challenge. Tomorrow, so then, so it'll probably be Saturday. I'm thinking there. Does that does that work okay for you?
hurt. I'll try. I want to cry away the incubation druid. We'll see if we can. Cool. No. It's not good. Guess I give him the Risen Reef trigger. I can't really be, be Cavalier Thorns otherwise, so I guess I'd just have to use this on the Cavalier. And of course we want to kill the Cavalier before there's anything in the graveyard so it does, the trigger doesn't get to do anything. Yeah, like them putting Chandra back into play. That would have been tough. Alright, so they still have five cards, though. Risen Reef got them some more cards. Gotta hope they don't find Big Chandra, because, yeah, that that seems really tough. Big Chandra giving us emblems. Yeah, Golos, is, Golos has been really, really good for us. I could see playing a third Golos. And obviously they have Big Chandra. We're, we definitely need to play a fourth Dread Presence. That's, that's the first thing. Let's get toasted. You're gonna be sorry when I come back. This can, you know, gain us a life every turn we play a, a swamp. Which could keep us alive through that. We need a lot more cards, though. I wish I would have discarded a Chromatic Lantern right about now instead of the Acquisition. I wish we could play Lantern first, but obviously they have a Bronzed on, so we're not going to play Lantern first. Oh, that's rude. Well, that's rude. Now I just want to play the lantern first. Oh, I should. No, I shouldn't block the two five. No, I shouldn't. No, I should make it so they have to get rid of two cards. Stop. Hmm. 
Man, that negate on that ritual set. That ritual set was perfect. It's hard to play. Yeah, I guess I could have gone. I guess I could have just ticked up last zone here. So it costs three mana to do two damage to me. So I can do four damage. So four. So I got a block. They got this game. That was a quite a good hand for them. Having those negates. Also, even after all, all the other stuff. I'm going to bring in a cast down over an acquisition. Wow, Storm, I already think that we're, we're going to lose game three. Already. This deck does want to hit a lot of land drops. Do you notice the last game, that was our downfall? If we don't draw any spells and they have an awesome hand, we will lose. So we'll see if that ha those two things come together.
Swamp. Swamp, 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 swamp. Ugh. We're turning this swamp up to 11. <laughs> no, Hawkeye's never hit the space bar and skip my turn. No, he doesn't really. He'll lay on the right corner of the right front corner of the keyboard. Like where like the the number pad is and stuff. Like that's where he'll he'll lay on sometimes. But he has, hasn't he's never hit the space bar though. I don't think so. At least. Not that I can remember. We're gonna have more crises. Pretty good hand. I do not feel pain. Well, that cry of the carnarium is a little embarrassing. So we, we did a really good job of drawing lands, which was not what... I was hoping for after keeping a five lander. That was not ideal. There is always another fight. Star of Extinction, no, set. And the Krasis is just too small. I can make a 5-5 five, five Krasis, I got seven mana. I mean, I'm just taking, I'm just taking lethal anyway. Oh, no, 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 because we'll gain two life, so it's not quite lethal. Um,
Hey, Caddy Wampus. Thanks. Yeah, we got the that Chandra Planeswalker deck last night. Thank you, though. A uh, second Cabal would not have gave us more mana. We would have had less mana if I would have played the Cabal Stronghold, actually. We needed another Swamp. You had to have five Swamps in play before Stronghold nets you any mana. This next turn... Um, playing a Swamp or a Stronghold... I mean, well, we're dead, but... Wow, they hit no lands off of those. That's good for me. So if I if I play a swamp. We have uh, six, seven, eight, nine mana. If I play a stronghold, we would have five, two, seven, eight, nine. We'd have nine mana. So either way, we'd have nine mana. However, next turn, we'll start having more mana with the stronghold. I don't really have a one mana spell. All they gotta do is attack. Need one more life. Well, I need a lot of things. I would have just minus two Karn both times. Or I guess it would just been once because they would have killed it. But if I would have just minus two Karned, we would have been in a better spot than taking up, probably. Would have been able to chump block once. And would have been able to draw this Noxious Grasp to kill an Omnath. is really good. This says Cavalier Thorns, so it's a Rekindling Phoenix. Just all these cards are just awesome. Just a good pile of good cards here. The one can... Well... A complaint I have about Risen Reef is how long it takes the triggers to resolve. I wish it just put the lands into play automatically. I wish it just wasn't a choice. If it just, I think it could just uh, reveal the cards like, you know, like explore, reveal, either goes to hand or goes into play. Hey, what's up, Washna? Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Sub number seven on the day. I appreciate that. I'll update that over here. 
Hey, Washna. So our deck felt pretty good. You know, nothing wrong with 3-2. I wish there was a better way to, to deal with, you know, like Risen Reefs and the card advantage they all get. Um, you know, like the Ethereal Absolution is like kind of an, an option, but we certainly struggle against creatures that cost four mana or more and are large. You know, like our Ritual of Soots Cry, the Carnariums. All that kind of stuff. Don't kill Omnath and and everything. But yeah, as we were talking about, I wonder if this deck can go a, can just not play Treasure Map. I wonder if we could have like some more interaction here on turns two and three. We don't have very much, as you see. Our four mana slot is just is just too big. Uh, we we're definitely talking about. Um, yeah, like that's that's the thing. I think we need more like two and three mana removal and stuff to to try to not get behind as much. But yeah, acquisition, take one of those out for another dread presence. Um, could we play two more like interaction spells instead of these treasure maps? You know, get one one more globe in here. I liked the globe. I like how globe just you know it helps like globe helps you hit your land drops, but it doesn't take forever like treasure map does. And then could could the deck just have you know like a, a cast down and I don't know maybe even a legion's end main or or like the other cry of the canarium or something like that or you just like two cast downs have some more cheap interaction here. Hero shook with the huge cheer. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Hero shook. Wow! Thank you so much, Hero. That was very kind. Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking out one of the Krasis's either. Maybe just get this other Cry of the Carnarium in here. Moment of Craving is a good one. Or Disfigure. Yeah, I like Moment of Craving or Disfigure. Could just be another cast down though. Cast down's awesome. But let's see, if we if we did that, that would let us play another Massacre Girl on the sideboard. See, I feel like, like, what if this deck, like, honestly, like, are there just enough good black cards that we don't really have to play Chromatic Lantern? I guess, I guess Chromatic Lantern helps you go lows. Maybe I'm just messing the, the deck up too much of, like, being what it's supposed to be doing. The Noctis Grass were awesome. I definitely felt like we wanted more Noctis Grass. There's just so many green and white decks running around these days. But also want another Legion's End. Like, is it possible just to not play all these like crazy things? And just have like a, a regular deck. Um Immortal Sun's fine, but I, I don't know if we'd need Immortal Sun in here. I don't know. But maybe that's something to think about. Like, maybe we can move away from Treasure Map, but also maybe not. Like, this this could just be wrong with, like, Treasure... Like, maybe you, you actually do need Treasure Map to hit your land drops. Not exactly sure there. Um, but yeah, I kind of want some more early stuff. This is a pretty sweet deck here, though. Yeah, I really liked the Golos. Um, I'm not sure if Golos is worth the Lantern or not. See, I I need to kind of think about this kind of deck, and I feel like there's just a good mono black mid range deck with you know focusing on Dread Presence. 
and not Lantern acquisition. I guess that'd mean not Golos, but Golos is just awesome with Dread Presence, though, too. Just go in and grab in a Swamp and putting it into play. We could see just playing a Golos, even maybe not even be able to activate it too often. But that's that's a different deck, you know. That'd be like Chupacabra and whatever else. But there we go. Um, all right, so that's that's Chromatic Black. Some things to think about. Um, pretty nice deck here, though. Uh, yeah, Cruelty. Cruelty is a good card. Omnexus is Cruelty is some, something else that costs three. That's a good card. That's another good one. Anyway, uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But that's it here for Chromatic Black. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.